Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm starting today's video by going back to Socotra Island with my desert rose forest landscape. Here is a look at the landscape today. You can see it's really greened up. It's uh, looking more lush. It looks a lot like Socotra Island still. I, I'm really happy with the overall look of it. Today I'm going to prune back some of my little plants that are around they're getting kind of long and they don't look like bushes anymore they're starting to look more tree-like out front here my portulacaria afra is getting too long i need to prune that back to make a compact kind of bush around the back here my rat tail jades they're getting too tall and out of shape i need to pinch those back i could prune a little bit of these jades prune them back a bit to get a little tighter canopy on it. But overall, I, I'm very happy with the landscape. Also out front here, some of my sand is developing moss on it. And I may have to just take the surface layer off like that. You can see there's sand underneath. Just scrape it off and I may need to put some fresh sand down to kind of keep the color that nice desert sand color overall in the landscape. I did prune the one desert rose up here. This branch was getting long so I pruned it back and I put the turmeric powder on the cuts. There's no new growth on it and maybe it won't grow. Maybe you need to prune all the branches equally. You know cutting off all the foliage, trimming the branches back and then it'll grow equally out from the tree. I think maybe if you prune just one branch back all the growth goes into the uh, branches that have leaves. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I don't mind it being bare like that. It's fine. I'm going to begin the pruning now. I'll prune up this Portulacaria afra out front. All right, so I'm just going to prune everything back shorter. So there's a set of leaves here I can prune back to. You know, always keeping some of the new growth if possible. This one's getting quite tall. I'll take it back to here, putting the tip off. And I'll take the tip off here also. If it's too tall after today, I may have to do some hard pruning on it just to get the overall size back to something compact. So that's as compact as I can get it without pruning back into some of the older foliage. Is it too big still? I don't think it's too bad. I, I think it looks quite reasonable. Let's go around to the one on the left hand side now. This one's nice. It's nice and low to the ground, but this shoot is getting too large. So I'm going to prune it back to here. And then the one on the side here, I can prune this one back also. Just taking the tip off. Like that. That's got that pruned to a little tiny bush. There's another Port Yelicaria Afra right here. Actually, is there two there? There's two there. I'll prune those up next. So again, I'll just prune off the new growth back to the first set of leaves. This one back to here. Actually, I could prune that back further. I can get in there. There. And there's one at the back here I can prune back. That gets that one nice and compact. I could take this tip off here too. Like that. The next one, it's being pruned. I don't think that one needs any work. It's looking fine. Let's go back to the front. Oh, there's one in here. There's one in here. Behind this rock I have one, so let me get that pruned back. 
Now I'll get this pruned back. And this one can get pruned back. This one to here. Okay, that's got that one. And then there's one beside it here that also needs pruning right here. So I'll get that pruned up. Wow, it's really grown well. Look at that growth. And these are the dwarf uh, Portulacaria afras. I think they call it the Lilliput variety. Wow, that one was growing really well. Look at that. I'm going to hard prune this one back further. It was getting too long. There, so that's got that back to a shrub. Maybe I should take this off. This one's looking a little big here. That's better. It looks more like a low-lying shrub now. That's looking better now from the front. There's another one in here I could do. I just noticed that one, so let's do that one next. Okay, let's come in and prune the branches back short. Starting to grow into the bush beside it. And I'll prune the tip off here. Just having a look. I'm wondering about this one. Is it too tall? I don't think it's too bad. Because it's up front, it can be a little larger. And the ones at the back of the planting should be short and stubby. So I, I think that's okay. Next, I think it's time to prune up the jade back here which is pruned to like a tree form here's a look at that tree so it's already got a nice canopy i just need to prune the tips back to create more branching and a denser kind of umbrella shaped crown so i will take off this one here this one here here so basically just a profile prune to kind of keep the canopy shape like that. That's got that pruned up nicely. Next, I want to prune up this rat tail jade. So I, I found just pinching works really well on these. So I'll just pinch out the tips. And this is in here to look like a bush or a maybe a small tree. So I just want a rounded canopy on the top. And there are trees on Socotra Island that look just like these. So it's a good uh, addition to this forest. Any leaves that are kind of pointing inwards, cluttering up the canopy, I just prune back really short or pinch back really short. All right, let me have a look from the front and see if that's, if the canopy is short enough or if it's still too tall. From the front view, it's kind of hidden, but here it is back here, behind the largest desert rose. Um, it does look a little large and blocky back there. It doesn't look very shrub-like, so I'll have to improve that. So I'm taking these branches back and I'm keeping green on the branches. I'm not hard pruning into the trunks. Even though I'm sure it would still grow if you did. but I'm just kind of rounding the front. So it has a bit of an umbrella shaped canopy to it. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I'll have a look again from the front and just confirm. I'm just picking out some of the leaves that have fallen down here. Because if I leave them, they'll root and grow. And I don't want too much green foliage in here. I just want 
enough to look realistic. Oh, that is looking better. You can see it back there. Yeah, that fits in nicely. Okay, that's got that done. Now, next I'll do this tree out front. These jades are styled to look like the dragon trees because they have a similar shaped leaf. I notice this branch here is starting to grow underneath the shade of this leaf here. I have an opportunity to prune it back here and I think I better... My, my intent was to grow this trunk up into the canopy eventually. I think this is just too far over to the left so I'm going to prune it off here like that. And then again in the canopy I just need to prune the tips back maybe to here just to create more branching to eventually get a denser crown an umbrella shaped canopy is what I'm after there's another one right here I'm just going to prune the tops off that one the tips That. I've already pruned the tip off that side. I have a dead leaf here. Put up some of these spider webs in here. Okay, there's another rat tail jade in here. You can see it's kind of growing up into this tree. This one needs pruning back a bit more to get a rounded canopy. Again, these ones at the back should be smaller, so that's a better height. And this one, um, I think I better just pinch the tips out of these ones, this tree. Create more subdividing of the branches and get a denser canopy on it. Okay, let's go back to the front view now. Here's an overall look at the forest now. I think it's looking really nice. Um, I've got a aloe back there, a tree form aloe, and I think it's starting to get quite tall and I need to prune the tip out on that. So there's my aloe back here. It's also getting some pups growing up from the base. I don't think I wanted a clump style, so I'll have to prune those away, or if I can tear them away and plant them, I will. Let's go around to the back and have a look at this aloe here. So there it is right there. Beautiful little plant. I find my aloes to be a very challenging species to grow as a bonsai. They don't really respond to uh, bonsai techniques, if I pinch the tip out here, usually it just keeps growing straight up again. It just takes over. Um, if you hard prune them, they just tend to die back. You kind of have to just do a combination of tip pinching and hope you get some pups, some new branches growing out the sides of the trunk that you can prune the tree back to eventually to keep your height under control. I'm going to try pruning out the tip of this aloe and I'm just trying to decide where. I think if I come in here. So here I go. I'm just going to do a flat cut. Like that. And I'll see what happens. Uh, see if it develops new branches on the sides or if it just keeps growing straight up again from that original cut point. At the base of this aloe, I, you can see there are some pups formed here. Um, I don't want them there. I don't want like a clump here. I'm trying to see if I can, if I can prune it away. There's no root coming off of it. I think I'll just have to prune it away. So here I go. There it is. So you can try planting these pups. Sometimes they grow. If there's a root coming off of it, they'll grow for sure. But sometimes they just don't. 
so I'll keep those little pups separate. Now I'll try and get this one off now. This one looks a little more developed. So again, I'll print it off here. And it feels like that one is rooted there. Yeah. See the root coming off that one? So that one will definitely grow. I'll plant that. It's always nice to have, you know, more small aloes. If this one gets too big, if it doesn't respond to my pruning techniques, you could eventually replace it with another smaller one and grow that until it becomes too big and just keep replacing it on an ongoing basis. I'll plant the aloes in this clay training pot, so I'll just get that root down into the soil like that. That's one planted and the other one, well, I'll try it, you never know. So I'll plant that out here. Like that, and then I better give them a watering. All right, here I go with the water. And I'll keep these in the greenhouse where it's nice and hot. And hopefully they'll both grow. Today in the greenhouse, it's a nice 38 degrees Celsius, so quite warm. The uh, succulent trees just love it though. I would like to display this forest in the Toronto Bonsai Society's fall show. So I think I'll leave, you know, all this landscape work until it's closer to show time. No sense taking it off now and then having to do it again. Today was just some light trimming of some of the plants in my desert rose forest. You can see what I took off there and there's more clippings over here. Yeah, sort of maintenance work to the forest. I'll put my desert rose forest back on the bench and get out the second tree I'll be working on today. The next tree I'll be working on is also a succulent. It's a crown of thorns or a euphorbia. The height is getting to where I want it so today I'm going to prune the top off and start some side branching. The leaves on this crown of thorns are a lot larger than my other one. I'll show you my other one beside it. There's a look at the two plants together. So this one has very small leaves, pink flowers, and this one has large leaves and kind of, uh, I don't know, salmon colored flowers, pinkish, orange, I don't know. Yeah, so this one is definitely a larger leaf species. So I'll be pruning the top off today and hopefully getting some branching to develop a canopy like my other one. All right, here I go. This will be a one cut pruning of this tree. So I have some leaves, some healthy leaves down lower. So I'm going to come in right here, trying to get in between everything and just cut the growing tip off. So here I go. Just like that. And you can see the sap, this milky white sap. It's very poisonous. You don't want to get it on your fingers. You don't want to get it in your eyes. So just be very careful with the sap on these euphorbias. So that's it. That's pruned up. Here's an overall look at the tree now. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll start getting some branches and develop a canopy. The last tree I'll be working on today is the cutting off of Connor's large jade. I left the apex to grow and thicken up and gain vigor. Today, I'm going to prune it back. Here's a close up look at the top of my jade here. So yeah, I left this grow and you can see all the branches that have formed. It's really gaining vigor. It's thickening up nicely. So I'm going to prune it off today and start developing my baobab style crown to this tree. That's the style I'm growing this in is to look like an old ancient baobab tree. All right, I'm ready to prune the top off. Now, I can either prune it to a leaf that's facing towards the viewer, or I can prune it off to leaves that are facing the left and the right. If I want my branches to look like that, I'll prune off just above the branches that are facing left and right. If I want it to be like this, dividing like this, then I would prune it off just ahead of a leaf that faces to the front and the back. 
I think in this case I want to divide it like this. So I will prune it too. I don't want it too tall. I think I'll come in right here. So I'll, I'll prune it just below this segment here. It gives a bit of room to die back to the next segment. So here I go, big cut coming up. And I'll keep this top as a cutting because it's a beautiful jade. It has naturally fairly small leaves and they turn red at the tips. Yeah, it's a beautiful jade species. I really like it. Here's a look at the tree now from the front. So you can see instantly it looks more like a baobab now. There's a few tips here that are getting long that I can prune back and create some more subdividing of the branches. So I'll do that next. And again, I'll be using directional pruning. So on this branch, I want it to come more horizontally. So I'll prune it just in front of a leaf that faces downwards like that. There's one shooting up vertically here. I'll prune it quite hard back. I'll go a little higher up to here. This one coming out the front, I'm going to prune back to here to redirect it so it's not crossing the trunk line here. Like that. This one, again, it's kind of crossing the trunk line. I think I'd better just prune that right out. So off it goes. Like that. The branch out to the side here. Um, I've got leaves down here that makes it quite, quite short. I don't think I want it that short. I'll go to here. These ones are looking good and these ones are looking good. So that's it for the pruning. Let's have another look from the front. There's a look at the Baobab style jade. Once it starts filling out again, I think it's going to look fantastic. It's got an ancient old trunk on it. I'm starting to develop that nice structure up top. I think it'll be a really, really cool tree in the future. Here is my Blue Jay Bonsai Carnage Cam. So I'll plant most of these as cuttings and then give them away. I don't need any more jades. The temperature is getting warmer in the greenhouse here. It's getting close to 50 degrees Celsius. So I've got some watering to do. I really enjoy developing the succulent bonsai. They're easy to care for. They don't require pruning all that often. And I think they can turn into something really fantastic looking. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.